Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be painting Hellboy from start to finish. But first of all I've got to say a huge thank you to a few people. First of all I want to say a huge thank you to my YouTube channel sponsors Goblin Gaming. Please check the description box down below, you'll find a direct link to their web store and every time you purchase anything from this link it greatly helps my YouTube channel so please use the link in the description box down below. I also want to th say a huge thank you to Mantic Games who sent me Hellboy 8 for review. As you can see it looks absolutely wonderful and they have a Kickstarter at this moment in time. If you check the description box down below I'll put a direct link to their Kickstarter campaign and you can check that out for yourselves. Lastly, but certainly not least, I want to say a huge thank you to Dark Art Miniatures. Dark Art Miniatures make some absolutely amazing resin bases and they're priced so well guys. Again, there'll be a link in the description box down below for Dark Art Miniatures and you can check out their wonderful resin bases. Okay guys, uh, in this video I wanted to try and replicate the sort of feeling from the comic books. I'm a huge Hellboy comic book fan and I've read uh, a few of the comic books and I just recently bought the library edition uh, volume one as well. Uh, so I'm really enjoying that at the moment. So hopefully in this tutorial you'll pick up a few tips and tricks along the way. And I also want to apologise for all the snoring that you're going to hear in the background. That's from my Pugs Jackson Nala. <laughs> so, okay guys, uh, as always, it's going to be a very long video. So go grab yourselves a nice hot drink or maybe an ice cold beer. And we'll get started with the tutorial. I'll start off by priming Hellboy using Alclad 2's Lacquer Primer. These primers are absolutely fantastic guys, they go down super smooth and they um, give really nice uh, coverage as well. Uh, things to note with this uh, primer is that it's really harmful if inhaled. I wear a respirator and you can also see that I've got a spray booth as well. So make sure you're well ventilated if you're using Alclad uh, 2 lacquers guys. It's also important to note that this uh, primer by Alclad is a hot liquid. What that basically means is that it will damage cheap airbrushes, rubber seals. So make sure you're using a quality airbrush that has PTFE solvent proof packing seals to make sure that the Alclad primer is safe to use in your airbrush. If you're unable to use Alclad uh, primers guys, you're perfectly okay to use polyurethane primers which are safe in all airbrushes. I've decided for this tutorial that I'm not going to do any airbrush work apart from the priming. I'm going to paint Hellboy from start to finish just with brushes alone. I really wanted to test out my new Artis Opus uh, paint brushes and really put them to the test. These are absolutely fantastic sable uh, paint brushes and they use the finest sable uh, hair and you get a really great snap on these brushes. In my last review I got a lot of negative feedback because uh, I didn't show uh, the workings of the brush and how uh, good they are but hopefully in this tutorial uh, <laughs> I just dropped uh, Hellboy there which wasn't good hopefully uh, back to what I was saying guys you'll see um, that the brushes are really really good guys they, ver they really are uh, on par with Winter and Newton even in some cases maybe a little bit better because I like the longer bristles uh, of the, of the uh, brush there but uh, yeah uh, this is Artis Opus brushes and like I just said guys I think they're absolutely wonderful Thank you. 
craft a base coat in Howlboy using Games Workshop's Mephisto and Red. I'm coming back in with Games Workshop Shade Carabool Crimson. Uh, this is going to give some really nice shade uh, to Howlboy all over and it's going to really get in the cracks and crevices. What I wanted to achieve with this uh, painting tutorial or painting the miniature itself really was I wanted to try and keep it as authentic looking to the comic book as I could so what that means is really deep shadows and some uh, nice highlights to contrast with the deep shadows now if you've seen Mike Magnola's work his uh, inking on Hellboy is just legendary guys um, he's such an amazing artist and uh, I just wanted to try and keep that really deep shade uh, uh, look that uh, I feel um, is in the actual comic book itself there. Now I'm going to be using a 50-50 mix of Mephisto and Red and Games Workshop's Wild Rider Red. And I'm going to show you on the palette here that I've got some water and I'm thinning them down and mixing them uh, like so. And this is a wet palette as well guys. And you can see how thin the paint is that I like to work with. Um, when I'm speed painting I thin my paints down a little bit but when I'm taking my time I really thin my paints down and paint in several layers um, this is to get the most smoothest uh, transitions from darks to lights and I've sped the footage up here guys because this is probably about uh, 15 minutes 20 minutes worth of footage and it'd get quite boring but basically I'm working um, building up the highlights from the top of the abdominal muscles and the pectoral muscles and leaving all the caribou crimson shade in all the recesses Here you'll see that I'm working at actual speed and I'm building up the highlights on Hellboy uh, with a mixture and I gradually add a tiny bit more of the Wild Rider Red to the mix as I go along and I build it up until I'm working with pure Wild Rider Red. Now we're going to add extreme hard edge highlights of Fire Dragon Bright from Games Workshop. Now hard edge highlights basically are really extreme sharp thin highlights that you apply on all the recesses, sorry not the recesses, all the cracks and all the sharp edges of all the armour panels and all the muscles of Hellboy as you can see that I'm doing here.
as I mentioned earlier on in the video, I'm using Artis Opus paintbrushes and they really retain an ultra sharp point on their tip, which makes um, doing hard edge highlighting effortless. But if you're using a synthetic brush and you don't have a very good quality uh, sable brush, the, uh, a trick to getting a nice fine point is to roll the bristles of the brush on your palette into a sharp point and this will help you get nice uh, sharp highlights. Now I'm going to use Games Workshop Zandri Dust to base coat all of Hellboy's cloak and uh, belts. Worn Fang Brown is painted onto Hellboy's shorts. Seraphin sepia is washed on all of the areas that were painted in Zandri dust.
after the Seraphine Sepia had thoroughly dried, I'm coming in with a 50-50 mix of Zandri Dust and the Shabti Bone, and I'm going to highlight all of the cloak. Here I sped the footage up again guys, just so you can see what I'm doing. All of the areas that are due to be painted in metallic silver colour are painted using Vallejo Game Air Chainmail Silver. I don't believe I filmed myself shading the gun but basically I went over the gun and all the other metallics with Games Workshop's Null Nile and then I started making a 50-50 mix of Chainmail Silver and Vallejo Game Air Silver and I slowly highlight the metallics up and go into Silver as the final highlight.
Vallejo Game Air Somber Grey is going to be painted on the coffin and the coffin lid that's Hellboy standing on. After the somber grey had thoroughly dried, I'm coming in with Games Workshop's Norn Oil and washing all of the coffin. I use a 50-50 mix of Vallejo Game Air Wolf Grey and Sombre Grey and we're going to dry brush all of the coffin to pick up all the nooks and crannies and to make it look like ancient rock. To add a little bit more interest to the coffin I'm going to add some pigment. Unfortunately the labels rubbed off on this pigment but I believe it's slate grey. Here I'm just adding small amounts of the pigment that I'll blow away in a moment off camera and they'll be left with a subtle amount of pigment.
a shabti bone is going to be placed on the skulls inside the coffin All of the schools inside the coffin are going to be washed using Games Workshop's Seraphim Sepia. I then highlight all of the schools using Games Workshop's layer paint Screaming School. The pot on the base is going to be painted using Auburn Shadow from Reaper Master Series paints. If you find it hard getting hold of these paints you could use Vallejo's terracotta colour but basically I wanted a really nice terracotta looking pot. To highlight the pot I'm using Reaper's Master Series Carrot Top Red.
to paint the little treasure box I'm using Dark Stars Molten Metal Royal Gold. Here I'm washing the gold box using Games Workshop's Agrax Earthshade. I highlight the treasure box using Dark Star's Molten Metal Pale Gold. And that's our completed Hellboy. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial guys and I do apologize for the lack of content that I've had on my channel lately. I hope this tutorial has gone some way as making it up to you. Lastly I'd like to say a huge thank you once again to Mantic Games, Dark Art Miniatures and my YouTube channel sponsors Goblin Gaming. Please don't forget to check the description box down below where you'll find direct links to all of those I've just mentioned. Also guys, I really love it when you leave a comment in the comments field down below. I read all your messages and uh, I try to reply to as many as I possibly can. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button if you've enjoyed this 
tutorial also subscribe to my channel guys for more uh, content that I'll be uploading shortly and thank you very much for watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one